Hey, what's up, guys? Today we are going to be showing A Channel's PoE Kits Monitor and Web Page Configuration and Remote Operation in Shushin. Let's check out what we have right now on the table that we need a piece of PoE NVR, four pieces of PoE IP camera, SETA, network cable, monitor, power adapter, mouse, extension socket, and router. Here are the steps to install the setup into the NVR so you'll be able to store the videos. We may now start connecting. Connect NVR with VGA. Connect IP cameras respectively and NVR. With network cables, then nets of NVR and land of router. Power the NVR on. Mouse to go. Good job. AutoAd is a function that is important when operating the cameras in day life. If we delete one of them inadvertently, we can still get it back by auto -add. We can find it on camera. As for recording by NVR at the first time, 
Forming required just to make sure that the setup will work properly. Which gets recording after re-logging if the status from HDD shows in use. Here, you can set up 24-7 recording and copy the setup to all channels. Apply. Go to playback, select the day and channel of playback, then you'll be able to watch it. If you want to get using phone for monitoring, check if P2P shows online. In order to make sure operating normally, NVR needs to add IP camera again due to this IP address changed when it's online. FreeIP is an application where you can realize remote operation through your phone. Some steps to easily achieve. Sign up at the first time. Add camera through as an app. Preview. We can also change the stream. Now it's web page operation in session. First off, we should get laptop and router connected by network cable. Then, finally get IP search tools by downloading from the page here that the website is www.herespeed.net or installing from the disk to search the device. Next, make sure the laptop and NVR are under the same network.
but you may need to change. The last one is not. Have double click on it to get to the page. Where you then can delete an ad camera. Amberville. Let's see how to do it. Good job. Since we have successfully formatted the HDD, we are now able to set up the record before actually recording. Choose which day and channel you want to record on and save. Then, we can watch the playback video by selecting date and channel. Some users might also ask, can we turn on P2P here to operate by phone? The answer is yes. Go to Configuration, System, Network. Then P2P, if it shows offline, you should get back to IP port and check Enable DHCP is a new address to log in, so as to realize it. Search and go get the address automatically. Now, let's come back and check again. It's online. You are able to scan and monitor through your phone now.
in order to make sure operating normally. NVR needs to add IP camera again due to this IP address changed when it is online. FreeIP is an application where you can realize remote operation through your phone. Some steps to easily achieve. Sign up at the first time. Add camera 3 as an app. Preview. We can also change the stream. VMS is an application where you can manage your devices all in one, including NVR, XVR, IPC, HD. And such. It's more effective to your work. Go to the website www.herospeed.net and download it. From here, we can choose the version which is suitable for your computer. Get a new account and log in. Add NVR to the system. Set up the way of recording. Since we have set it up, it's able to watch playback video now. Perfect.